Section 6 talks about sales commission. This is very similar to how we did the things with sales tax. Um, first of all, the vocabulary you need to know. You need to know that the commission rate is a percent, so you're always going to look for a percent, and the commission is an amount of money. So when you have answers related to the commission rate, you're going to label them with a percentage sign, and when you have answers related to the commission, you're going to make sure you put a dollar sign in front of those. Headed into our examples. Again, I said this is like when we figured sales tax. So there's two different ways you can do that. You can use a proportion like we've done many, many times, or you can use the decimal form of the percent and you can multiply it to get your answer. Uh, the first question is, find the commission on a sale of $6,500 if the commission rate is 4%. My preferred method is to use proportions because you don't have to move decimal points around so there's less confusion. To use a proportion, you start off with the percentage. Percentages are always over 100. And then the total sale was $6,500. So 6,500 goes on the bottom. And put your variable on top. Set it up to solve. And your answer is $260. Now again, you can do this using the decimal method. You change your percentage rate to a decimal number, 0 0.04, by moving the decimal point 2 to the left. You multiply it times the total amount, and you'll come up with the same answer. Either is fine. Just be aware if you have trouble with where to move those decimal points, using that decimal method may not be the best for you. The second example takes what we just did a step farther. A salesperson receives a salary, a base salary of $325 a week and a commission rate of 3%. Find her weekly income if her sales are $1,250. So first we have to find her commission. That's the exact same thing we just did in example one. So if we set up our proportion, use our percentage first. And then we know her sales were $1,200, so her total sales goes on the bottom. And we're going to solve for how much she made in commission. Set it up to solve it. She has a commission of $37.50. Now the question says, find her weekly income. So if we go back to the beginning of the question, it says a salesperson receives a, a base salary base salary of $325. So we need to take her base salary, $325, add it to the commission that she makes, and find the total that she makes is $362.50. This is an amount of money, so make sure that you label these problems with a dollar sign. All right, on to our third type of problem. This type of problem wants to know the commission rate. Remember, commission rate is a percentage, so when we set up our proportion, we're going to always start with a percentage, and we're looking for the percentage, so we're going to have x over 100. We read through the problem, a car salesperson receives a commission of $540 for selling a car at $12,000. What is the salesperson's commission rate? The total cost of the car, remember, the whole cost goes on the bottom, is $12,000. The part is the commission that the person made was $540. So now we can go ahead and set it up to solve. and we come up with 4.5%. Make sure, since you're finding the commission rate, that you remember that rates are percentages, and you must label your answer with a percentage sign.